In our previous part, we have created this blog archive page. There is some latest adjustment that I have to work on. You can also add any other uh, features, styles here. You can add background color, whatever you want. And currently it has some limitation. We have to uh, break down. So there is little spacing. If I take a look at here at the top and let's inspect and understand where from where these spacing are coming from let's take a look uh, we have to spend some time here and uh, figure it out from where this is coming from okay let's margin top zero the spacing is coming from the banner here i just added custom code without spending much time here copy and paste it here okay i have to copy in this way paste and update now as you can see the blog page looks perfect now and we have to create our single post page and this is our blog uh, sidebar we can add any uh, other information inside the sidebar for an example let's add another element inside our sidebar we can add another group here drag and drop it here and then inside the group we can add sidebar image and any other content related to the sidebar let's add pattern we can add image or let's add image directly here without using any pattern as of now from media library i'd like to use this one and see how it looks it looks like this click on update and reload our blog page now the sidebar is um, here and it looks like this we can add little bit spacing and also we can add border background color whatever we want we can add here let's add something let's add padding 20 pixel and add a background color to make it a little bit different than the above section I change the color opacity to lighter save and then reload the page so as you can see it looks little different here and we can add margin as well at the top and if I select the top group here we can add a margin so make sure you have follow my screencast and understand where I'm clicking and uh, from where I change uh, something here so I'd like to add some margin at the bottom area let's add margin 30 pixel or I would say 50 save change and reload the page here now as you can see it looks uh, different and it looks perfect here if I uh, display my window perfectly here how it looks now the next thing that uh, I'm going to create our single post page so for creating single post page if I click on the title or the read more it will take us to the single post page the single post page currently looks like this so we have to work on it so what I'm going to do I'm going to simply navigate to the WordPress editor and go to WordPress and if you want you can add sidebar to the single post page uh, if you do not want you can simply escape this one and here you can see the single post if I edit single post it looks like this simply there is a title and there is a featured image and also there is a, a border and some text here post date post author category post tags and if I go to our single post page it looks like this it's similar and we can keep it uh, in this way or we can uh, change it uh, we can keep uh, the featured image size in this way or we can change it uh, the featured image size here let's uh, choose the featured image or the post title here 
and if I open the list item from here and see inside the group there is a post title and there is a featured image and there is separator so what we can do we can change the featured image we can change the post title size like the uh, archive page that we have uh, changed previously so you have all the uh, options that you can change inside your theme but as of now what i'm going to do i'm going to change uh, the layout to 1000 pixel for the post layout and uh, also i'd like to change the group layout to 1000 pixel as well to make it similar and see how it looks so it looks like this it looks a little bit different and i think it looks better i can also uh, remove the featured image from here uh, i personally uh, do not want to use featured image for this uh, single post item let's remove the spacer here and then i can change this post or uh, tag or post information from row to this title under the title i can place it here and change the formatting the group should be 1000 pixel and then post title there is some spacing and other information that i have to work on it margin zero and then the row which is other information related to the post and the post content let's save change and reload the page here now the single post page looks like this i really like the simplicity here and it's it's great now if i go to our blog page and click any of the single post page from here or if i go to next page then click any of them it will take us to the single page so what I'm, i can do i can simply now edit this post page and i can show you exactly how it looks let's add some image here or we can add content we can add image to make this uh, post a little bit nicer and we can add this is taste image i just added a caption here and let's add some content again and then we can add heading to make this post page beautiful h3 update and now as you can see when i reload this page our single post page looks like this and it's working right and if i go to any other page if i go to any other uh, single post page it looks different because everything works here dynamically based on our uh, single post page style that we have created here and hopefully this uh, video will be helpful for you to understand how the single post page work and how you can create your own custom post page and own custom archive page inside your theme